In this video, you will learn how to implement the Johnson Cook model in Abacus with practical examples. So, let's get started. Hello guys! In this workshop, we simulate kinematic hardening plasticity by writing the UMAT subroutine. Pay attention, in kinematic hardening behavior, yield surface will shift. In isotropic hardening, the yield surface will be larger. But for kinematic hardening, yield surface just will translate. You can see the displacement value here, which is x. First, it has initial surface and then it changes. If you want to rewrite the stress equations for this new state, first we should check original equation which was in the elastic region. Difference equation will be according to equation 2, which strain difference are added to the equation. Equation of yield surface will be equation 3 that alpha is actually fact stresses, which alpha will, will be equal to the value of yield surface transition, and S is the deviatoric stress tensor, and sigma y actually is yield stress. Differentiation rate of the equivalent plastic strain equals to equation 4. As you can see, the results are completely similar. We can make this comparison for each case. Therefore, the analysis is done correctly. It is possible to do this comparison for multi-element models, as you can see here. We can also have the value of internal energy and dissipation energy. Internal energy for a Bacchus is like this. and also plastic dissipation. We call these results on subroutine model as well. And also for the internal energy in the subroutine model. If we want to compare the results of the two models, here we will have the internal energy in the subroutine model and here for a Bacchus model. When we draw both curves, we see the results will match exactly, so our calculations for internal energy are done correctly. In order for this comparison to be fully visible, we use two different colors to draw the diagram. We see that the results are exactly on top of each other. 
If we do this comparison for the di uh, dissipative energy in the two models of a Bacchus and subroutine, we'll see that results are the same as previous mode, which in the initial step, when it's elastic mode, it's zero. And after we go to the plastic state, it shows its difference brown for a Bacchus and green for subroutine. Thank you for your attention. Hi. In this session, we will talk about writing VU mat subroutine for damage initiation and hardening based on Johnson Cook model. As you see, stress strain behavior has three parts elastic behavior, that is until sigma zero. Plastic behavior that is until the point where D is equal to zero and damage behavior. In this example, we will talk about the first two parts. The elastic region is definite and in plastic region, yield stress and damage initiation are based on Johnson Cook criterion. This is reduced Johnson Cook equation that is used for calculating yield stress. It has a thermal coefficient, and because the abacus considers a big value for transition angle, we will enter large value in subroutine to compare the results with abacus. I will talk about it more in the software. Damage initiation index will be calculated based on equivalent plastic strain. Here we calculate epsilon. And when the summation of the differences of equivalent plastic strain over the damaged plastic strain gets into 1 or over it, damage initiation occurs. Here we have the explanation of parameters such as equivalent plastic strain at damage initiation or empirical material parameters. Stress triaxiality, that is pressure stress over the mice's equivalent stress. Here you can see the results. If you want to see both of them simultaneously, from Report, select Create and choose Tile vertically. One of them is Abacus and the other is VUMAT subroutine. As you see, the stress contour is almost similar. and the differences are because of calculation errors. For example, to compare contours from Create Display Group, Part Instance, choose Billet and select Replace and do it for other model. You can see stress results that are almost similar together and also SDV1 that is equivalent plastic strain. And you can see Johnson Cook damage criterion that it is SDV2 for subroutine model. As you see, the results are the same. You can see these are defined in state variables in subroutine. We can also compare energies from results, field output, choose internal energy and plastic dissipation for VUMAT model.
and also we can do this for a Bacchus model. To compare it better, we can plot them in one viewport. For internal energy, the results are exactly the same. And also for plastic dissipation, the results are similar together. It shows that the subroutine is almost correct. Let's see what happened to the drilling from result. As you see, the hole created right here. You can see um, the stress. or displacement, velocity, plastic, and uh, elastic strain, and other output. In this section, you can see the drilling with mesh, like this or without mesh, okay? In order to be able to see the hole clearly, remove the drill. Active the remove selected mode by selecting the drill. We delete it. And from here, you can see clearly how the hole was created. If you remember, we enabled status variable in the fill output and this is why these elements at the center are delete and deformed. If I return the drill, you can see completely drilling process. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this training.
Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. Johnson Cook Abacus Plasticity and Damage Simulation. This package includes these sections. Workshop 1. Drilling Simulation. Workshop 2. Impact Analysis on Plate with Bullet in Abacus. Workshop 3. Writing ViewMat Subroutine for Johnson Cook Plasticity and Damage Initiation. Workshop 4. Writing ViewMat Subroutine for Johnson Cook Progressive Damage. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it will be useful for you.